iPhone photographers around the world answered the call to participate in a nighttime photo challenge to show off the capabilities of the brand new night mode feature, which is available on the iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. Thousands of submissions were entered and of them, six were chosen by a panel of award-winning photographers. And we're gonna take a look at these entries today. We'll have a look at the quality of the image and talk a little bit about the aesthetics. And also I'll encourage you to place your comments in the comments box below about the images, which one you think was the best and any comments in general about the image. Before we take a detailed look at these images, let me explain what night mode photography is. It's a new feature that was introduced to the iPhone. It has actually been around for a number of years on Android phones. It came out on the Samsung S9, the Pixel 3, and also the Huawei P30 Pro. So Android users have been enjoying this feature for a number of years. Finally, Apple has played catch up and possibly implemented one of the best versions of night mode that I've seen so far, judging from the photos that I've seen taken the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. Now, the quality of the image is really quite acceptable given it's coming from such a small sensor on an iPhone, but it's no way comparable to the type of low light photography you're gonna get on a DSLR camera, such as a Canon 5D Mark III EOS R or, or a Sony a7 III, for example. And here's a photo I took with my Canon 5D Mark III. So by way of comparison, we'll have a look at the difference between the full frame sensor on the left, which is the Canon 5D Mark III, compared to the smaller sensor on the right on the iPhone 11, both nighttime photos. And you can see it's really quite close, but as you zoom in, you'll see some artifacting and noise on the iPhone photo, which you don't see on the Canon 5D Mark III utilizing a full frame sensor. This is really only noticeable as you zoom into the image, and for most people, when displaying images on social media or on a website, and once the image is compressed down, possibly treated with some effects in Photoshop, the difference is going to be even less noticeable between the two. The iPhone enacts night mode when it senses the light is below a certain point, so it automatically turns itself on, or you can manually put it into nighttime mode if you choose to do so. Now, judging the photos that were taken for this competition, they were obviously at a very low level of light and there was some manual controls implemented to get that type of shot. What's really remarkable about the way night mode works is just how it seemingly pulls colors and detail out of the obscurity of night altogether. If you haven't done any of this type of work before, you're probably not aware, but Without the night mode feature, if you were taking these shots, you'd simply be looking at a black sky. And in all these photos, we're getting really nice graduation of blue tones that you get normally in the daytime scene. So it's kind of a surreal look that you're able to achieve with the nighttime mode. And these are really the best examples taken so far, according to the judges. So let's take a look at each one of the images and uh, we'll have a look at what it is that made these a winning photo. The first one was shot by Konstantin Shalabov from Moscow, Russia, and he was using the iPhone 11 Pro. Now, as I mentioned earlier, what you can do with night mode is bring out an incredible tone from the sky that you would not normally see in a nighttime shot. And you can balance out, it almost looks like a HDR image, you're balancing out the natural ambient lighting with some of the artificial lighting in the scene that we're seeing in the car, both the headlights, the tail lights that are bleeding onto the snow, and also the interior cabin that's lit up with the passenger rather than a driver. So it's a bit of a interesting shot. Looks like the photographer has stepped out of the vehicle and taken the shot himself, or somehow the driver's mysteriously gone missing, but it's quite a nice moody looking image and in terms of the clarity and the colors present technically it's been pulled off really well but above and beyond that obviously the composition is it's got that leading line of the road uh, with the focal point of the vehicle the way the mountains and the mountain range behind frames that central image 
It really does produce a lot of mystery. It really looks almost like something out of a movie scene. So that's image number one. Let's move on to the second image. And at number two is yet another Russian entry from Moscow, Andrei Manulov using an iPhone 11 Pro Max. This isn't my favorite shot of all of the finalists here at all, but what it does well is that it creates a certain sense of order out of chaos, a very random, unattractive scene by day, I'm sure, but the photographers managed to line up the symmetry, the perspective, and have those converging lines take us right through the image and create a great sense of 3D depth. And utilizing the night mode, shooting at what appears to be in the middle of the night with no daylight, using purely artificial light coming from tungsten, possibly LED light sources, a mixture of different lighting colors. So I think the reason that this image was chosen was that it demonstrates just how well the night mode photography can handle different types of artificial light sources and how it can produce a very well lit, evenly exposed image. This next photo was taken by Mutsan Sony from Mumbai, India. He too shot on the iPhone 11 Pro. Just looking at the composition and subject matter of this photo, it's not really striking, to be honest with you. It's just a tree with some buildings around it. If this was shot during the day, it would be a really mediocre shot. But what gives this photo the edge is going into night mode and allowing the sensor to pick up those subtle hues and tones that you don't see with the naked eye by using a longer exposure. But by using night mode, it's able to bring out the blue hues in the sky and contrast that against the red, which is what makes this a winning photo. The next one is by Ruben P. Besos from Navarra, Spain, and he was using the iPhone 11 Pro Max. For this one, I'll read the quote by Phil Schiller, which is one of the judges of the competition. He says that photography is the art of light and Ruben's photo magically uses light to bring this art installation in Spain to life. The color in this night mode image is a captivating orange, beautifully framing the band of pilgrims in sharp silhouette. The crackly details in the foreground rocks and the story of the long and difficult journey ahead for these pilgrims before they reach their holy site. So what he's really saying there is the way the night mode feature is able to bring out not only the colors in the scene, but also bring out some of that texture and detail in the foreground which is normally lost and becomes a black or gray blur when you're shooting in the normal photo mode. So night photography here is really able to capture a lot of detail and a broad color range to really make that image pop. The next one was taken by Rustam Shagimordanov in Moscow, Russia on an iPhone 11, the base model. It still has night mode, so it's really quite comparable to the other models of iPhone, it just doesn't have the broad range of lens options available. So this would have been shot on just the standard wide angle lens. And it's quite incredible how it's picked up so much detail in those mountains in the background behind the village. And we have the soft foreground elements along with that nice tonal range in the sky juxtaposed by the artificial lighting inside those cabins. So it actually looks like quite a surreal scene, maybe a set of a movie or some toy houses. It almost doesn't look like a real scene at all. So it's quite a an amazing image shot in night. Once again, if you were to attempt taking this photo on your iPhone without this night mode feature, it would really be just a blur of black and, and some lights in the foreground. So the night mode photography effect has really come into play here. And this final shot was taken by Yu Eric Zhang from Beijing, China on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And as John McCormack, one of the judges says, this image represents the iPhone at its best, capturing life as it happens, no matter what the light is. The sense of movement, intimacy, and place in this image is very good. It really transports the viewer to being right there. And again, from a technical standpoint, if you were to attempt this type of photo just using your regular camera mode on an iPhone or any other phone that doesn't have a night mode, you just wouldn't be able to pick up this level of detail in the image. 
the amount of light will be diminished. It will be actually be a black blur in many areas. So the way that this night mode is able to capture not only the foreground elements, but also the background, again, pick up, picking up some hues in the sky that you wouldn't normally see. The fact that you can do this on your iPhone is really quite a testament to how far this technology has advanced. As I mentioned earlier, in the past, you'd have to use a DSLR camera on a tripod with significantly long exposure to get that type of image. Certainly, technically, it would be sharper and superior when you actually magnify the image itself, but it really does look very similar to the type of shot I'm getting from my DSLR equipment at first glance. So an incredible new feature is the nighttime mode on the iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. So if you are looking to get an iPhone, certainly that is going to be one of the main features you'd be looking to get on the brand new version of the iPhone. It's going to extend your photo capabilities when shooting at night, whether you're doing travel photography, street photography, or even just candid photography, you're going to be able to capture the shots that you want no matter where you are and no matter what equipment you have available. So a really nice upgrade on the iPhone 11 Pro and it's great to see the competition being held really to get all those entries in and showcase just how capable this phone is. And it doesn't really say in the competition whether these are pro photographers, whether they've had much experience shooting nighttime type of images and other equipment. Presumably looking at it, some of them would be. Others look like anyone could have shot them and they've just been able to utilize the quality of the night mode to the best advantage possible and produce these striking images. So I think they're great and it's going to be good to see them up in billboards, on the Apple website, on the Instagram account to really showcase the work of these great photographers and give them a bit of exposure. The great thing about this is that it's able to deliver this type of quality image without the use of a tripod. The night mode photography is basically point and shoot. It takes an exposure of anywhere from one to three seconds in duration. And somehow through some AI, it's able to stabilize that shot. And it probably takes some multiple exposures and blends them together in HDR form and produces that final image that we're seeing on screen with these sample images. A really nice feature that's gonna extend your shooting capabilities throughout the day into the night with the convenience of doing it all on your iPhone. Let us know what you think of these photos, any comments about them whatsoever, which one you think is the best. Feel free to share your comments in the comments box below. See you on the next one. Bye for now.